In 2019, we bought a container to install at our friend's land and dip our toes into a potential life in central Portugal. Little did we know that it actually increased dramatically our quality of life. We bought our first property, we're rent free and it was affordable enough to be mortgage free. We transferred the container into the land and now we're extending it, creating a unique tiny house while we renovate this 100 year old abandoned farm and create a self-sufficient off-grade homestead. Today we continue to build the world in the outbuildings and we finally learn how to pick olives with our neighbours. Today is an interesting day. My neighbor came over and he saw our olive trees and he said, do you want us to cut it? Take the olives and then we'll give you some olive oil later. I'm like, yes, yes. So, é Hugo, é Amelia, sí. meus vizinhos, faz aqui os olivos. Vai ajudar aqui a podar os árvores porque nós não sabemos fazer. Toma! Mais uvas! Mais uvas, obrigada! Olá, Manel! Tudo bem? Estou sempre! Estás bem? Estás bem? Estás bem? Estás bem? Yeah, I am actually. This is a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's a bit like popping those little plastic uh, air pocket things. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's very that satisfying. Level satisfaction. A lot of less stuff to do. A lot of these pots. What can I do with this? So today, that's happening. I'm over there cleaning that area. It's almost done. And I'm going to be doing this part too. Over here, we're gonna have the stones all nicely cladded, I guess. Faced with stones, like those. And there's gonna be another block on top, but it hasn't been put um, we haven't done that one yet because uh, the lines to make the floor straight are going to come from the container all the way here so we need that to be exposed so it's easier to work with and then after we'll, we'll put the other block um, level or row over here okay so, so you're gonna have the floor up to that level And then another block on top. You have a little bit of a enclosed area. It will look pretty. How did you want 
it over. Yeah, I would say, yeah, about that deep. The is yeah? On there, but like all the way across. Okay, all the way, and that wide. Yeah, because, well... Why are you so wet? Because I'm... Sweating. I'm sorry? I'm, bit, I'm doing like a workout here. <laughs> Yeah, just start with that. We can make it deeper in the long uh, later, but I would start trying to get to that deep. Okay. Yeah. This is going to go. It's a apple tree, but it will never fruit because the graft is... It's, um, it's growing from here. And this is not doing well. I don't think we can replant it. It's not looking very, very healthy. Okay, that's it. Are you finished? Yeah, I love Farrah. <laughs> That's it. Dun, da, da, da. Yay! The last one. I only took three times longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Yay! Finish. How, how many tons do you think it is? I don't know, but it's a lot. Well done, Omar. This is your idea. That you completed. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> what are we going to do with this tree? Cut it. You can cut it. Kill it. If you want to. <laughs> the internet is going to hate me for that. Um, yeah. I just don't think I can save it. No, I think it's kind of dead. I really messed it up. I mean, it's gonna, there's going to be a whole bunch of new trees growing now from there. So if we wanted to do this again properly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can get to the root, but I don't no, think I can. it's huge. Oh, sorry, tree. Sorry, internet. I don't like cutting trees either. But sometimes you have to do it. I'm not fat because of that drawing stuff. You okay, Louis? Hey. Louis horrify. Horrified Louis. is making me hungry. Alright, you ready? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Good job. Good job. How was the food on? Yeah, it was better than 10 out of 10. <laughs> it was incredible. Korean food in Portugal. Pretty good, man. So this is looking a lot better already. This wall eventually is gonna go and it's going something along the lines of what happened there is yeah. gonna happen over here. Almost like exactly the same. Yeah.
right so it's the afternoon almost evening about seven o'clock in the evening it's still light here actually i think in the uk it's dark by this time but anyway i wanted to show you the end of the day what we've been doing i don't think we film a lot of it but um it will it's a little bit more of the same that has been happening hence why there wasn't a lot of filming but i'll show you what we have accomplished today okay so here's what we've done with the wall while simon did and um a lot of the wall was taken down on this side okay so to make it straighter so rods can be put in to reinforce this wall this here is cement cement is used for structural beams which is what's going to be put on here then it's going to be built on the inside with block and then on the outside it's going to be dressed with stone there was a couple of worried people in the comment section last week um, you don't do it with lime you have to use concrete to then use um, add your reinforced beam on top and you need concrete to have a grip also when you do any wing beams you also do it with concrete you do a point with lime which is what is here and um, and that's what's going to happen much 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 later we're not really ready to point to anything the reason why we're not doing everything again with stone is because we don't have enough good quality stones to do a 55 centimeter thick uh, stone wall again so a lot of people what they do is that they do block on the inside and dress it on there on the outside and it does the same job and I'll show you what else we've done so as you can see here we've cleared all of this out there's a big vine here that we're gonna keep this later will look very different we we're, it's gonna probably going to become a garden at some point where we're not gonna work on anything here yet because this wall comes down to a new canal to have a straight of surface for the stones to be placed on top another nice straight foundation this is where the stones are going to be placed and this is where the blocks is going to be placed so we need to um, do another one just next to it and that needs to be tied onto this but we haven't done it yet because of these collapsing walls we have to take this down before we can work on this very very exciting very very exciting it's gonna look amazing i'm gonna have a shower and i'll see you guys in the morning As you can see here, we're using the new EcoFlow River 2 Max to make some cement mix. Actually, we only use 5% of the battery to make this mix, so essentially we could use it 20 times before we deplete the battery. As you may know, we are big fans of EcoFlow. They have made some of the most innovative products out there, such as the Delta Mini, solar generators and complete off-grid power kits. So now they are introducing the River 2 series. And here it is, this is the EcoFlow River 2 Max. This is for sure the best battery on the market that's under one kilowatt hour. The reason is, is firstly it can charge in less than an hour, making it about five times faster than other batteries. It's got 3000 life cycles, so it's about six times more than other batteries. They have three different models, like this is the mid-range one, so 512 watt hours. They also have a smaller and a larger one. It can be charged by AC C, type C USB charging, solar, either EcoFlow or third party solar panels and car charging. You can get it for less than 500 bucks. So in my opinion, this is such a great little device if you're going on a road trip, uh, if you're going camping, if you just want to have the assurance of having a home electrical backup system, this is really gonna help you out. So thank you very much EcoFlow for sponsoring our channel in this video. I think uh, guys, if you are wanting to go energy independent, you should definitely check out EcoFlow's products. Click on the link down below to get your River 2 for this winter.
happening. Indeed. Let's do it. Can do just run a line across. Yeah, I've got a pretty long <laughs> tube. Oh, what water tube? Mm. Yeah, I've got one at home as well. Yeah. You've got one here? Yeah, let's just match that because that will be the best okay. thing to do. Yeah. It's going to be a pretty high wall. We have a storm coming. Look how windy it is. Goggles.
after a really nice lunch courtesy of Omar, we kept working on both the new wall and the little wall that we have outside the container. We just sided up all the area around the container and added a last row of blocks on the new wall by the outbuildings. We couldn't do much more because that's where the window is going to sit. Anyways, now it was time to take some more of the old wall as if we kept building the new one, it would be a very difficult task to dismantle it in the future. Look at that, eh? The beginning of a wall. I'm in my pajamas because I've stopped working for the day. Just working on the computer. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Look at the wall. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, it's getting nice in it. I just want to show you. I must look very dusty, so I don't want to get too close to the camera. <laughs> I want to show you this stone over here. So basically this is like some of the stones we're working with and it's very beautiful. I don't know if you can see it properly. So a lot of this, as you can see, is just clay. I'll probably say like a good 40 to 50%. It's really, really, really dusty and you don't want your walls like that. And I think I'm done for today. Have a tea and a nice banana cake Omar made yesterday. Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower and I'll see you guys later. It's very windy today. It's probably gonna rain tomorrow. What's that window doing there? 